Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're gonna take a close look on the HGLRC F4 V5 Pro all-in-one controller. It features an F4 board and a built-in adjustable VTX. I've already reviewed this F3 V4 Pro board and we're going to check what's new on this board. It came in a very nice package unlike this one which came just in a bag. Inside the package we're getting an XT60 female connector, the board, the buzzer, the antenna extender, it's RP SMA, and all the needed screws and wires. At the first glance you can see that the board is not identical and some things have been changed. Let's spot the differences. First of all, the antenna connector is not the same. The old one had an IPX connector and the new one has this new and not standard connector. This connector is more durable and doesn't need this silicone glue which I had to put because if the VTX is on without an antenna, it can burn the transmitter. That's why I use this glue and here it looks very secured and it has this degree of flexibility that is also a very nice feature. The distance between the mounting holes is identical, 30.5 millimeters by 30.5 millimeters. The older generation supported 160 ampere max current and the new one supports 200 ampere current. This board supports between two cells to six cells like a battery as the older one did. And of course this is an F4 board and this one is an F3 board. Both VTX power is selectable between 0, 25, 200 and 600 milliwatts and it's adjusted by this button over here. The older generation had this switch that allowed you to turn on and off the VTX but the newer one doesn't feature this switch. Another big advantage that the F4 V5 Pro has is that the built-in OSD is Betaflight OSD which means you can change all the OSD features just from Betaflight, so you don't have to go to minimum OSD configurations and connect it in a complicated way, just connect it to your computer and you can adjust the OSD versus on this one you had to use the you had to program it with, via an external program. So it's a big plus for the F4 V5 Pro. In addition, the build quality of the F4 V5 Pro seems better than the older generation. Even the sticker looks nicer on the new one. Not that it makes a big difference, but the board looks cleaner and nicer. Let's have a look on the board on and all the connectors. So on the sides of the board, we have the plus and minus. It powered from directly from your LiPo connector, which means the voltage is going to be identical to your LiPo voltage. On each side, we have the signal connector, which means we have here the S1, S2, S3, and S4. So it's very convenient. So each signal is closer to the motor where it's supposed to be connected. We have here the front, which means this is going to be the front of the quadcopter. So S1 and 2 and 3 and 4 is a classic motor layout of Betaflight. You can see that in the older board it used to be just a pad, which where you had to solder the signal wire. And here it's a hole, so I think it's going to be much neater. And the signal wire is going to be more secured to this board. Now if you plan to run an hexacopter, you wouldn't be able to because it supports only four motors where the old one used to support eight motors. So it's going to be suitable only for quadcopters. Both sides have plus and minus connectors so you can connect your EUC directly to these pads. The older generation didn't have these pads so you have to directly connect it to this plus and minus and it was more messy so this will give you a cleaner build. The weight of the board is almost identical. The older one weighs 22.8 grams and the new one weighs 22.5 grams so it's almost identical in weight. Changing the challenge is a little bit different than the older generation. By the way when it's powered with USB the VTX is not going to work but you can still configure the channel but it's still a good habit to keep the antenna connected whenever you are walking with this board. Changing the channel is simply done by short pressing this button. If you want to change the frequency just press it for two seconds and then you can change between A, B, C, D and E. And if you want to change the output strength just long press 
this button you can see when it's two LEDs are on it means that now it's 25 milliwatt one LED is 200 milliwatts when the two LEDs are off it means 600 milliwatts and if you press it again the LED indicator will display zero and now it means that the transmitter is not working I will put a link in the description to the user manual where you can see the frequency table as I mentioned before it comes pre-flashed with beta flight and you can see that you can configure the OSD on this part which is very convenient now of course the main downside of buying these kind of boards that if something is not working right so you have to change the entire board and actually this is not so expensive this costs less than $50 and the older one costs about $42 I don't see any reason to buy the older generation even that it's still being sold on Banggood only if you plan to run a hexacopter or an octocopter maybe you should consider it in addition it uses the Betaflight OSD which as I said it's much easier to configure in the end of the day I will have to test this board and see how it performs on one of my next builds I'm going to use it and one of the big advantages of this board is that it gives you a much cleaner build and, and if you're using a 4-in-1 EC controller all you need to do is just place the 4-in-1 the EC then this board and just motors and camera of course in a frame and you're good to go one of the things that I think HGLRC should implement is instead of this boot button which can be easily torn off the board I think they should put a button it will be better and more durable they had the same boot pad on the older generation and they didn't change the design on the new one so I hope you enjoyed this overview of this new F for V5 Pro board. If you have any question about it, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you. See you in my next videos and goodbye.